ladies and gentlemen, now please welcome to stage Team Paul Mitchell. Hello, welcome everybody. Beautiful Andan, this is what we would like to share with you today. We are a beautiful team on stage, we have excellent models, and I cannot wait to talk with you about Invisible Wear, our brand new Muted Metallic, the Demi Shades, and also our Halo tools. Okay, so when we're thinking about some of the fashion trends, we tend to take our inspiration um, from a lot of catwalks and how we see that transition into the high street. So one of the main things that I've kind of noticed is a lot of the like styling, if we think a couple of years ago, it was a lot of cinched into the waist, a lot of very structured outfits, whereas now everything's becoming a little bit looser, a little bit more undone. So taking that into the realms of hair styling as well, I feel like it's so much more acceptable now that you can leave the salon with your hair looking like you already had a great time <laughs> and that it's not polished and you still need to go out and have a great time. So that's what we're kind of looking to do with invisible wear with our models is create those beautifully undone styles. And when it comes to the hair color, well, we have a whole journey and a story to share with you about the beautiful hair colors today. However, I'm very excited to introduce you to our brand new Muted Metallics from Paul Mitchell. I think what I enjoy the most about them is I've been seeing a lot of people wearing softer versions, you know? You don't really see as many people wearing the Metallics quite as strong anymore. It's a lot more muted, a lot softer, a lot more undone when it comes to the Metallics as well. Okay. I think as a as I'm traveling quite a lot around the world as a global education manager for John Paul Mitchell Systems, and I always get a lot of questions. What is the newest trend? And I really have taken my time to think back. Me. If you remember, in the 17s, we did a lot of blow dry styles, and then in the 18s, I wasn't born there, <laughs> but <laughs> the perms were like pretty famous. Everybody was wearing a perm. And then when we went over to the 90s, it started the trend to over smooth the hair. Volume wasn't allowed. But in the times today, when you go to a coffee shop or you go to the airport, you can see every single style because everything is allowed. Green hair like Harriet is wearing, polished <laughs> beautiful hair like Vicky has, blonde hair, natural, everything. So my answer to what is trend in the salon reality it is really to personalize the hair color and the haircuts and also the hairstyles to every single client. It is our responsibility as a hairdresser to really listen to our clients and to figure out what kind of needs do they have and then deliver the products and the right tools to them. Teaching artistry is in the times today the most important part. And that's why I like to work for John Paul Mitchell Systems because we always try to deliver oh. solutions, not only for professional hairdressers, also for our guests. So they can take the profession home and be able to restyle their hair like we do. Yeah, it's definitely what I'm seeing in the salon. I'm a salon owner. Uh, working full-time behind the chair and my clientele is now far more everyday wearable it's not set it's really kind of just an exactly what invisible wear is that beautifully undone texture everyone's wanting their hair to be more rock and roll more lived in and also wanting to get more longevity out of their styles so they'll come in and we might do a more rock chick sort of vibe with the curls and then the next day I'll see them walk past the salon they've got this like nice edgy little ponytail like no one wants it to look set anymore and uh, that's what I'm seeing with styles but with the coloring as well moving away from like you know fashion tones aren't going anywhere and that's what I really love about Demi the muted metallics is that the fact that it's just an extension onto that that everyone can kind of have it like you can see today um, yeah, the trends are far more wearable. We also did all our prep work yesterday, and we would love to show you first the video how we did the prep 
And then based on that, we would love to share with you how we colored all the hairs. So you have seen a little little sneaky preview how we did the prep yesterday. Uh, when I did Holly's hair, Holly, she came in with a tiny, tiny regrow. I mean, you haven't seen that really. So I said, why should we not leave that regrow? Because then we're going to add um, automatically some more depth into the hair. So when I was mixing the rose gold together, I said, I want to use the full intense tone on the regrow again, just to add that depth. But then for the length, I, uh, I diluted my rose gold just to get a little more vibration, but also more movement in her hair. Something I really learned after like coloring a lot of blondes and taking them to pastel direction is, the more dimension you're going to create, the more fun she will have because it looks in a way much more natural. And also what I like when we work with muted metallic shades is we did a lot of balayage in the last few years and I realized that th my balayage guests, they're not coming that often back because they are not getting annoyed about their regrow so fast, right? So they're coming more back for getting like a trim or maybe a blow dry service, but I really want to upgrade them with color as well. I still want to keep going with them. So I always offer to them, hey, let's try today a new shade. Just give it, I, I would love to give you like something, a pastel direction or a nice creamy blonde. And with the Demi, this is possible because you won't lift the natural hair up. It's just like a lip gloss That's a, that Vicky said this morning. It's like a gloss, but it gives you a, such a beautiful direction and it also, it plays with the hair color that you have underneath. So I always give my guests some opportunities. Hey, if you have like 10 minutes more time, let me refresh your hair color. Let me give you some glamour into your hair. So in that way, they always have like different looks, but without going into a commitment which will stay forever in their hair. So when we're looking at Charlotte, because I'm just starting to like dress and finish her hair out, um, I'm working with our brand new Neuro Angle. So our Neuro Angle gives you a few different styling opportunities. So like it says, you can rotate that and bring that to an angle. So I'm gonna work on, my God, angles are really not my thing. 90 degrees, <laughs> that's where I'm gonna go. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and then, um, one of the things I know that a lot of my guests say um, when I'm working in the salon and also when I'm educating is they prefer the curls on the second day. So how do we create that second day style on the first day? Because some people wanting to wash their hair still daily. Um, so I'm taking the ends of the hair. Charlotte, can I just spin you around slightly more? So just taking the ends of the hair and holding that right on the, um, this bit's not warm by the way on the angle and then just pinching the hair right in the middle. Gonna bring that angle up and then I'm just gonna wrap that hair around. What this is gonna do is just condense the curl. So it's gonna give me a more flatter, more undone curl instead of it looking ringlety. You don't need to hold these ends onto the iron, right? I mean, you can, but I feel like you'd be removing fingerprints if you did that. So if you've got long nails like me, you can, you can kind of push up there. 
If not, it's absolutely fine. And what that's going to do is it's still going to give you a great curl, but it's going to be a much flatter curl, more undone, that kind of beautifully undone second day styling. These tongs, by the way, these heat up to 230 degrees, but I'm actually working on 180 today because I find that's kind of a better temperature to get a softer end result. And then for my dressing out, my absolute favorite product and a bit of a savior for Charlotte because Charlotte would be like a one to two day shampoo maximum. I'm just going to work through with our product Pump Me Up, which is a... Um, hair powder and I'm just going to spin you around again you keep twirling for me I'm going to try and show you with my wrong hand if this looks weird because I'm right handed so we're just going to spray right into that regrowth area and you can come real close and it's got a little bit of a tint to it and I feel like it's important to tell your guests about that because the reason it's not white is so you don't see it in the hair how many times has a guest got dry shampoo in and you're like, oh, are you wearing dry shampoo today? How did you know? Because it's kind of there. I can <laughs> see it in your hair. Your roots look yep. great. <laughs> so this is tinted to really kind of help you guys out, help your guests out. And you can really just get into the roots and just brush it all through. Second point to note on this, tomorrow Charlotte's hair is not going to feel like she's got chewing gum in it. Like, it's invisible, the feeling of the product. So it's very reworkable on the second and third day for styling. So I've kind of gone on a bit of a mad one. I'm going to be <laughs> quiet for a minute. <laughs> I'm just having a little chat there. Right, spin back round for me, honey. If I um, just add to that, there's one thing that I really love about using the Pump Me Up in the salon is it's the fact that it is a powder. And clients are really, really loving the fact that if they do like pump it onto the roots it does kind of in a way double up as a dry shampoo it. it does take away like a, a slight Spin bit of me. any residue so but not like a dry shampoo it adds more texture obviously but clients are absolutely loving this product and the fact that the size of it is perfect for going in your handbag it's in my backpack I carry it around all the time just for a little spruce up throughout the day um, and the clients are absolutely they love that product for for that reason but I would also down. say, so at the beginning, when Careful. I started to work with Invisible Wear, I was seriously Careful. just thinking about my young guests, which uh, would like to have that kind of beautiful undone look. But then I realized, what about my other guests? My guests, which are in another generation. So especially some of the women, they're always struggling because they're sweating so fast. So I always tell them, hey, I recommend to you have a little pump me up in your back or a little undone texture spray. Because what it does, it really gives you volume so fast without feeling it. And that's the thing that the people looking for. So when they are starting to travel or it's summer and everything goes like very fast to greasy or because people start to sweat, why should we not recommend to them something that really supports their volume and pump me up would be for me the right thing and people love that they really do um okay so i'm just gonna start a little kind of second day styling on charlotte's hair but then i decided before i started that i wanted to tell you about her color so with Charlotte's color, you guys would have seen in the video, she was na like pretty blonde already. I feel like Charlotte is a frequent flyer for us. We work with Charlotte a lot and she's normally at a base 11. So one of my biggest requests in salon from clients, but also I would say I do on average about 12 educations a week for color. One of the biggest requests is these cool tones, these more metallic finishes. And as you guys will know, clients' expectation versus reality, very different. Expectation is, oh, I saw this picture on Instagram and I'm going to go from a base of four and be ash white silver, no warmth whatsoever. Reality is, no, if you go from a four to an ash white silver, either your hair is going to be in the sink or it's going to be beige there's a transition. We can't always just get someone straight there. 
So with these tones, we class these as pick and put tones, but we still need to pre-tone the fabric first. So with Charlotte, we lifted her up to the 11, but then we removed the yellow. So we went with our demi-permanent color line and yep. went um, with a 10 violet, removed all the yellow pigment first. Then we went through, worked the lavender onto Charlotte's roots. And then when we pulled through the mid and the ends, we actually diluted with clear, just so it gave a little bit of a lighter end. Um, yeah, just a lighter finish on the mid length and ends, because I feel like a darker root is kind of very on trend right now. Right. I am going to stop talking again. <laughs> So if I touch on what we did with, with Elsa a second, as she's standing back here, uh, as you would have seen from the video, she Listen was already very light, but there was a bit of banding going through there. So we went in and did a synchro lift and 24 root application and let that process, when we went to the basins, we did a pre-tone of 10V all over in the demi, damp hair, left that for 20 minutes. What that did was really help to neutralize any of that yellow that we get with our platinum blonde, as we all know. Uh, that really, really helped to create an anchor for that silver to sit on top of. Silver, this silver, I'm just like so, so in love with. It is what all my clients I can see that are uh, platinum cars will have, because it is just a really wearable, it's not like a gray, it's not aggressive, it's not, it's, it's just a really beautiful silver that changes in different That's colors like in moving. different lighting sorry you'll see when she's moving her head that it just has got so many different tones going through it it absolutely baffles me i don't know how it does it it's crazy um let the when we did the the silver we did that on damp hair as well just so that it didn't sort of grab too quickly uh, applying to the roots first leaving that for 10 minutes and then bringing it all the way through to the ends as well but i just i love i just love elves hair it just looks so so stunning so beautiful Thank yeah you. So I'm working on my second look, and the first look was really also to show Holly how can she make her hair more even when she's doing her hair at home. Because sometimes I hear that so often, and I'm sure you hear that often, very often in your salon as well, when people are saying, oh, I wish I could take you at home. I wish I could have your hands at home. <laughs> and I always say, you can have my hands at home. Let me show you how you do your hair at home. So teaching artistry, again, it's the key, because that's what, we, what makes us strong as a hairdresser. We can talk about what we are doing every day. We can show them how they got to do it. So on Holly, I showed her how she's going to blow dry her hair with the diffuser. I showed her how she should wrap around the hair around her curly iron. And I mean, if she's going to do that by herself, she will it in her hand, and I tell her, look we have that isotherm titane so if it, that means it goes very quick the quicker you do the curls the more healthy it is for the hair and the faster you will be because no guest wants to spend hours doing their hair it has to be quick and easy and simple so i suggest to holly she should just blow dry her hair with the diffuser and then just on the top of her hair just go quite simple and easy and wrap a few sections around the smoothing iron, uh, the curling iron, and that's it, done. But in that way, you're gonna create a very even curly look. So the next section I would like to show you is how she can do an updo, a very fast undone updo. So I was using the texturizing undone spray, and then as you might have seen, I was just twisting her hair underneath. I started on the left side because why? I'm a left-hander, but you can also start from the right side. It doesn't matter. So I started and I was just twisting, twisting, twisting. And then at the end, I was just using three bobby pins. I pulled them in and that's it. Because again, we just want to do an undone look, like a beautifully undone look. So was for me at the beginning very hard to create undone look because my eyes was always looking for something which is super polished and everything had it to be smooth and shiny but then I have to think about okay how I'm gonna create undone looks 
So I stepped away a little bit from that focus to have the glamour waves and everything. And I was more thinking about how can I create texture in different kind of ways. So for Charlotte's second look, I'm going to spin you around, Charlotte. So what I've done is just done a half up, half down. Not like a super neat one. I really want it to be undone, very textured. And then I brought that ponytail forward, placed my clip in, and I just filtered out a little kind of faux fringe because Charlotte would actually, well, I don't think she'd be a model for me again if I <laughs> cut a fringe in her hair. She'd be very upset with me. She's a one length haircut kind of girl, aren't you? But this gives her something a little bit playful that she can kind of change her style up a little bit. So once that's holding your fringe in, your faux fringe, I then take a band, take it straight over that bun, and then with bobby pins, just literally like disheveling it, like pop them in and just pull it down to make a little bit of more texture in it. Then I'm gonna just use a little bit of finishing spray just to kind of help me mess that section up. Then you can kind of take your clip out. Obviously, we're not gonna leave that in. And then just play with the front if you wanna smooth it off, flick it out. I mean, you don't have to leave that in there, but I kind of like the fact she can have a little faux fringe if she's feeling a bit more playful. Then I'm just gonna curl the bottom up a little bit more and dress it out, and I'll kind of share with you guys what I'm doing shortly. I'm kind of doing the same sort of thing here with uh, Vanessa, like day two hair. Uh, clients are always asking me, like, do you have any tips and tricks of how I can make my hair look good on day two and it's like oh I've only got an hour appointments to a cut and blow dry and then now I have to try and educate you into sort of style so I'm like well you know just anything that's kind of like that you can do with your hands not loads of sections and and um, you know getting over complicated with it so you'll notice that I've not been using any tools it's all with my hands really easy so literally just taking a little uh, halo section on the top here being quite loose as well, like I've been sort of wrapping it round to create a, sort of quite a little textured half up do. Uh, and then literally putting a, an elastic in there really, really loosely and then flipping it back on itself. And then sort of just uh, to hide the elastic, wrapping the hair around just so it makes it a bit more, a bit sort of more sophisticated than just having a nice shiny elastic band in there. And then now I'm just playing around, just trying to get like a nice sort of proportion create like a little like bardo kind of look. Yeah, sometimes it's really the simple things making the big, big difference. So I really realized also that our guests would like to have some more styling options. And then we, I just realized by myself that I'm thinking too complicated. I feel, oh my God, I have to share or I have to show them the right chignon or like something which is super fancy. But basically they're looking for simple things like doing a ponytail in the right way. Mm. Like Keep going and I really learned, they never learned that. How can they learn it if they didn't study being a hairdresser? Usually when you are a kid, your mom is showing you how you have to do your hair. And then when you become a teenager, you be locked in your bathroom and nobody's gonna see how you're gonna do your hair. And then when you are grown up, you have no idea how you have to do your hair. So, and then they go to the hairdressers and they're hoping that they learn something from the hairdressers. In the times today, we have internet, we have Instagram, where you can learn in like two minutes how you're gonna blow dry your hair. Two minutes. So why should we not do that? I always try to teach my guests how they're gonna do their hair at home. And I tell you, the, the benefit that you always get is trust men. You create a relationship to your guests. They start to trust you. And here again, the more they will trust you, the more they will buy from you. A hundred percent. So while I'm finishing up, I'm just gonna give you this to hold because you haven't got enough stuff to hold. <laughs> um, so one thing with the muted metallics, these are brand new by the way. So um, this is the first time that we are sharing them in the UK. They officially launch next month. So if it is something that you are interested in, if you love the colors, 
if you want to find out more, we have a whole team of people working um, right behind you guys who will love to spend some time with you, tell you a little bit more about these products. We're also going to be doing a live stream on the 13th of March on Salon Success UK and Paul Mitchell UK, which is going to share with you a little bit more information about the muted metallics. There's three shades, lavender, rose, and our silver. And I think when you think of metallic, it's going to be different in every single light. So for someone like Charlotte, in some lights, it's going to be almost a little bit pinker if we've got warmth. In other lights, it's going to look a little bit whiter, almost a bit gray in certain lights. And I feel like that's a key to tell your guests, educate them, that is normal, that is how it's going to be. It is not going to look silver if you're stood in a bright yellow room with bright yellow lights and you're taking a picture with your flash. However, in clean lighting, then yes, it will look a little bit cooler. So I'm just finishing with a little bit of my neuro finish just to expand the texture and the shape. And yeah, so I stop talking again. <laughs> just having a little <laughs> conversation with myself there. <laughs> No, that is one thing in, in my salon is we've got um, like the proper old school glamour lights. So the lights are directed on them and every client is like, oh, my hair colour looks so nice in here. But, you know, when I go into different lights, like I'm just not too sure what it's meant to like look like. So th we've got other areas that have got a lot more like natural light. So I always like direct clients all the way through the salon, showing them their hair colour. And they're like, oh, my God, I love like I love it. Like, you know, it's the lighting is just uh, crazy sometimes what it does. Also, another trick that I would like to share with you is you have sometimes customers, they're Coming coming to your me. salon and they just would like to have their fringe like cut it, right? Like a, re a little retrim. The first thing I do once I'm finished with that fringe cut, I'm always using the pump me up or the texturizing undone spray on their fringe because then they can see immediately how much volume I'll be giving back into that fringe part. Because we know a lot I'm of guests, they're just it. washing their fringe in the morning, mm -hmm. you know, like in a very complicated, bossy position I'm under the, the sink. You, do you have that guess? No. <laughs> I always say, you know what, instead of breaking almost your back, just use pump me up in the morning. Then you don't have to wet them down. You can just add that and then go with your fingers through and then just re-blow the, the fringe again. Done. They like that solution. They really love solutions like that. So, I'll start with my recap. What I did on Holly in the morning, I was blow drying her with our beautiful halo blow dryer, which has a touch screen on it. Everybody needs a halo blow dryer, I tell you. You would never want to work with another blow dryer. And then, of course, we used our met muted metallic shade rose gold, which fits her just so well with her skin tone and everything. It's just so beautiful. And then I curled, ev recurled everything with the small cone just to give her more texture. And then I was playing with her curls. I did a very, very fast updo just to give her an option how she can do that by herself. I hope you like it. And then uh, this is the lovely Vanessa. She had um, skylight done yesterday in model prep to lighten up the ends uh, and then also uh, like a foiling application to just like the sort of teeth section area just to add some more dimension to the top. I love this color, it's so beautiful with the uh, toning with uh, 9 BV on the roots into 10 BV on the ends just to add a, just a little bit more smokiness to the roots. Uh, curling her with the um, neuro large cone just to add some real texture and dimension as well and then if you take a little spin so everyone can see the back of your hair and then doing a little little sweep little day two hair up for her just to add some little cuteness take a turn around the back around there and then you too. so charlotte our gorgeous lavender model charlotte came to us and she was already a base level 11 mid length through end so we touched in her root regrowth with our Synchro Lift, which is our blue lightener. Um, just with actually 10 volume, we lifted her up to a level 11, but at an 11, there can still be a little bit of warmth. 
in the hair, so there is still a little bit of a pale yellow tone there. So we pre-toned her with a 10 level violet um, in our demi. That's a shampoo base, so it's nice and quick, like on and off at the wash house. And then rinse that through, and then we work with our lavender in our muted metallics. Went with the lavender on the regrowth area first, and then through the mid lengths and ends, it was our lavender diluted with our clear, just so it gave a little bit more of a multi-dimensional tone, a little bit kind of cleaner and lighter towards the end of her hair. And then with Elle, like I was saying earlier, we did a synchro lift 20 volt application to her roots uh, to get her lifted up to like an inside of banana peel yellow toning with uh, 10B at the basin for 20 minutes on damp hair just to get rid of any of that yellow before we go in with our muted metallic silver, which you are seeing here right now. I just, yeah, I just love, just love this silver. It's so gorgeous, so wearable. So we will bring the models to the stairs right here. So you have the opportunity to take some pictures. We will be here around and more than happy to answer any questions that you have. But so far, thank you so much yeah, for your you. attention. Thank you.